In Japan, there's a word that serves as an umbrella term for all things supernatural. That word is yokai. Ghosts, spirits, monsters, and demons can all be classified as yokai. The one I'm going to be talking about today is the nue. The nue is a nocturnal creature who is said to have the face of a monkey, the body of a tanuki, or raccoon dog, legs and feet of a tiger, and the tail of a snake. Its presence is characterized by an eerie cry. The first recorded sightings of the nue date back to the later part of the Heian period, where one of the most famous nue stories originates. In the summer of 1153, a cloud of black smoke appeared over the imperial palace in Kyoto, and the emperor suddenly became ill. This illness lasted several days, and there was nothing that could be done to ease his suffering. It was believed that there was an evil spirit in the clouds that was causing his illness, so the emperor ordered his best archer to shoot the thing out of the sky, which he did with a single arrow. Once the Nua fell down to earth, the emperor instantly recovered. The people of Kyoto feared the curse of the Nua, so they put the body on a boat and sent it down the river, where it ended up on the shores of Osaka. The people of Osaka found the creature, gave the corpse a burial service, and built a burial mound, where it said the remains of the Nua still lay to rest. This is the grave I'll be visiting tonight. There aren't many recorded sightings of Inoue, but in general, yokai are said to be most active at night. The location of the burial mound is interesting because it's located within a suburban neighborhood, and if you didn't know it was there, you could pass it every day without giving it much thought. At night, when the streets are empty, the neighborhood does have a bit of an eerie vibe, the type you would imagine hearing about in Japanese ghost stories. I apologize in advance if the footage is a bit difficult to see under low light.
So I think I should explain a bit. Um, I'm not a big believer in the supernatural. Uh, I don't know why. Recently I've been on this big supernatural kick. It's probably because it's getting close to Halloween. But I was watching a lot of like YouTube videos on these ridiculous ghost hunting shows and things like that. And uh, a video recommendation came up to watch this guy, I think his name's Matthew Mayer. And um, he was giving a lecture about yokai at a university. And um, he talked about this story about the Nui. And uh, when I Google searched where the shrine that he talked about was, I found out that it was like a 15 minute walk from my house. So I just had to come check it out. You know, when I was coming here, my wife asked me where I was going, and I told her I was gonna go catch a new air. She told me not to bring it home because we don't have any space. Anyway, yeah, when I was walking up to the shrine, um, the wind was making this really creepy sound that I thought was really strange, and it went away as soon as I stopped recording, so um, the sound's not alternate anyway, and, I'll leave it as it is and you just tell me what you think of the situation. I don't know why this shopping arcade has always kind of creeped me out. Not because I think there's like anything supernatural going on, but it's just, it always seems so like lonely back here. It's always empty, even though it's a really big space. I don't know. So yeah, anyway, I'm on my way back home now. And I'll try to come back during the day to get some footage um, so you can take a better look at the shrine. Um, I didn't want to stick around there for too long because it's kind of late and it's a residential neighborhood. And I don't know what people are gonna think. They see a big Mexican guy standing outside filming. But um, yeah, if you get a chance, I mean, it's a cool little shrine and uh, the neighborhoods, it's interesting. It's cool to walk around the side streets. So yeah, come check it out if you're in Osaka. Thanks.